Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7 tonight. I'm Arlette Youssef. We begin with Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A local attorney who was present at the Summerlin Law Firm shooting on April 8th is recounting what she saw. Review Journal's Lena Bleeds has the details. Shooter Joseph Houston's wife, Kelly Houston, was set to be deposed in a custody dispute that fateful morning. Her attorney, Lisa Rasmussen, spoke to the Review Journal about her experience, saying she expected the hearing to be intense, but did not expect it to turn deadly. She said the event began without the polite exchanges typical of a deposition, and immediately after Kelly was sworn in, Dennis Prince began asking questions. After the third question, she said she heard a bang and saw Joseph Houston with a gun. She said she didn't see Dennis or Ashley Prince get shot. She was focused on grabbing her client and running out the door. She said it wasn't until the afternoon that she and Kelly learned that the princes were killed before Joseph turned the gun on himself. She doesn't know if the attack was premeditated. At one point later, I thought, um, he probably wouldn't have hurt me, or maybe he wouldn't have hurt me. Maybe I should have told him to stop, but it, you just don't think that way. You just think, um, get out, flee, flight, get out. Five people were arrested in connection with a double homicide that happened nearly two years ago. The suspects on your screen are each facing charges of open murder for the killing of 24-year-old Deanna Diaz and 19-year-old Samir Smith back in July of 2022. It happened on Cindy Sue Street in the Northwest Valley. Police say two men got into a fight with occupants at an apartment community during the incident. The Supreme Court of Nevada unanimously ruled Thursday that a state ban on ghost guns is constitutional, overturning a lower court's decision that statutes against the firearms were unconstitutionally vague. Ghost guns are unregistered firearms made with 3D printing or parts from a kit. The lower court ruling had sided with Polymer 80 Inc., a Nevada-based maker of gun products that sued over the definition of a unfinished frame or receiver. A high-level executive at Wynn Las Vegas is leaving the company. Steve Wheatman has been the president of Wynn and Encore since January 2023. He's also been an executive for the company since May 2004. Thursday, he told colleagues, quote, now is the right time to pursue my next chapter. Wynn Resorts CEO Craig Billings said Wheatman's last day is June 10th. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every bloomin' thing. Mostly clear skies tonight in the Las Vegas Valley with temps moving from the mid 80s down to the 70s. A nice way to kick off the weekend. Looking ahead, it's mostly sunny all weekend and it's heating up. We've got mid to low 90s Saturday and Sunday. By Monday, winds will pick up to at least 15 miles per hour, which could help to make it feel cooler outside, even though temps will be in the mid 90s and mostly sunny. Very similar conditions for Tuesday as well. In business, a North Las Vegas man who grabbed thousands of dollars worth of casino chips from table games at 15 different casinos has become the 37th person added to Nevada's list of excluded persons known as the Black Book. On Thursday, Nevada Gaming Commission unanimously approved placing Neil Ahmed Hearn on the list, forever banning him from stepping foot in any Nevada casino. Hearn did not show up to the hearing. And renter's insurance in Nevada is the 14th highest in the country and higher than the national average. According to the Insurance Information Institute, the most recent data shows an average monthly premium for renter's insurance was $175 in 2021. The national average was $170. Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Vegas Golden Knights forward William Carlson has partnered with Great Clips, the official hair salon of the NHL, to launch the brand's Show Your Flow campaign, which encourages hockey fans to show off their epic hockey hair for the chance to be inducted into the Hockey Hair Hall of Fame. From now until May 5th, fans can share photos or videos of their hockey hair on social media. Six chosen individuals will make up the second class inducted into the Virtual Hockey Hair Hall of Fame. The finalists will receive tickets to upcoming games, autographs by William Carlson, and more. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. The Blind Center of Nevada and Aristocrat Gaming are celebrating 1.5 million pounds of recycled material. 
They say their partnership provides the Blind Center with unusable game cabinets and other materials to have visually impaired clients take them apart for recycling. A benefit for the Blind Center and it happened by accident. We talked about some computers and stuff and as we were walking through a tour he gave me in the warehouse, he had some scrap Gaylords full of stuff that just they needed to get rid of. And I'm like, what do you do with that? Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The NBA playoffs tip off this weekend and the Phoenix Suns are the minus 127 favorites at Circa Sportsbook to win their first round series with the Timberwolves. Minnesota is a plus 107 underdog. The Dallas Mavericks are minus 128 favorites over the Los Angeles Clippers who are plus 108 underdogs. The Cleveland Cavaliers are minus 190 favorites in their series with Orlando. The Magic are plus 165 underdogs and the Milwaukee Bucks are minus 115 favorites over the Indiana Pacers, a minus 105 dog. In Lifestyle, sponsored by Atomic Golf, now open next to the Strat. An opening date is set for a charity and curling club called Curl Vegas. The facility on East Post Road will host a ribbon cutting and grand opening celebration on May 2nd. The Olympic curling facility plans to hold international competitions, corporate events, and youth, collegiate, and adult recreational leagues. This will be the first permanent curling facility in Southern Nevada. A new concert club is open in downtown Las Vegas. Sinwave has a capacity of 300. The live music destination welcomes acts ranging from hip-hop to death metal. Owner and longtime musician Martin Boynton wants Sinwave to be a place where fellow creatives can display art, host go-go classes, and of course, DJs. Sinwave will be open seven days a week. Now for entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Jam band Fish debuted their residency at The Sphere, performing in front of over 20,000 fans. The group aims to produce an experience that unites its devoted international community and new fans alike. And a new rosé-soaked restaurant is on the Las Vegas Strip. La Cote at Fountain Blue is inspired by seaside dining on the French Rivera, but there's a catch. The restaurant is only open to hotel guests. Will you be booking your stay to try the new dining experience? Let us know at 7 at ReviewJournal.com. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. Search Review Journal on your favorite platform to stay up to date all the time. We'll see you Monday for 7 at 7 in the morning and night. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.